You have used the shield key. Alright, it's time for Yawn. That's the name of the snake. Let's try to avoid it like the plague. Ah, uh, shit! Ah, uh, we've got no help! Because Richard is dead. Leave me alone. One thing... One criticism I have of this game is the enemies are a bit slow, especially with the modern controls. Especially. Like, you're on there, you know, it's for a, for a giant snake, he's really slow. Really, really slow. Compared to the original Yorden in, in the original game. Just not fast enough. <laughs> he's fast, though. Alright, where am I meant to be going? Okay, I know where to go. I have a plan. My lord, I have a cutting plan. Oh, he hasn't got up yet. That's nice to see. Alright, we are actually heading on our way out. Which is nice, so... I'll up the other three. There we go. I've got three masks. I'm going to take some healing just in case. Because what comes up next? Um, uh, we're going to have to face like some crimson head zombie, but he's like really tanky. <laughs> He's, he can just take a lot more hits, it seems. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the doorknob. We'll be fine. Don't worry about the doorknob. Fuck you, Forrest. Piece of shit. One weird thing about um, Forrest in particular is once you leave the mansion, that's it. You don't see him again for the rest of the game. I always thought that was a big disappointment. Like, it's like I don't want them both orange. That can't be right. Yeah, I always thought it was a huge disappointment because it was just like, so you had to appear at the start of the game, but he just kind of doesn't appear after that anymore. It seems. Okay, I don't actually know if this is correct or not, but I need to turn this one off. This one be green? Okay. Alright, so we've got green, orange, purple. Okay. So that might be right. <laughs> if not, we get attacked by crows. No, we're good. And looky here. We've got the fourth mask. And what a quinky dink. We are in the garden where we need to go to, so. That's very useful. That's why I picked uh, that mask up last. Saves you a lot of time. Uh, the zombies have disappeared here. Well, that means trouble is brewing. Okay. I don't actually know which mask I need to put in first. Is it? No. Is it this one? There we go. Fourth time lucky. Oh, there we go. Got that first time. Okay, two more. Nope. Oh, okay, I'm not hovering around it correctly. There we go. Yeah. It's this one. 
And finally, the fourth mask. I've noticed like people on YouTube have been doing like ram randomizers of this game in particular, and it randomizes uh, like items where you've got to go and pick them up and stuff. And sometimes locations are randomized when you go through a door, you're in a completely different area. I thought that's really cool. I'd love to do that, but I I don't really have a PC, so. I've only got like an old laptop, so it wouldn't run very well <laughs> playing this game. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're still okay. Fuck you. Try to grab me. Grab you, motherfucker. Ugh! Stun the shit out of him, Jill. Okay. I've got no defense weapons, though. Defensive items. That's what they call it in this game. Okay. Alright, we have got the. What do they call it? Stone and metal object. So we need two of them. So that's the first one. Okay, now that we've got that. It's time to head out the mansion and venture further. We are now going to be uh, going to the guard house. And quite soon we're going to meet a new addition to the game. Uh, and that would be Elisa Trevor, who was never in the original game. It was a great addition to this game. Bye, Forrest. That's it now. We won't see Forrest again. I'm pretty sure that's the last time you see him. Okay, no miss about for here. Just use the item and go through the door. Fuck the dogs. Fuck you, doggies. Oh. Oh, I have some of these. Battery pack and first aid spray. I'll take them. Thank you very much, Lay. Okie dokie, deadly pokey. Uh, I think this one goes west. So these dog statues, you need to have them facing away from each other. Um, I'm not sure what this is. This uh, it'll probably need to go east, right? Uh, nope. So, probably north then. There we go. So, yeah, they're facing outwards. And that opens the door. Very simple puzzle. Okay. This is, this is quite a big graveyard. <laughs> Wonder who's buried here. Is it like staff that have been working at the mansion for a long time? Who knows? But yeah, like just some some of this like views of this place is great. Like looking at the trees and the fog and the fence. And it's just like Definitely gives you a, a nice horror vibe. For sure. Okay. This isn't the guardhouse, by the way. This is just a like, little cabin. Just a little ditty cabin. 
Okay, so should be a crank here. I will need that to get rid of the water. We lower the water and there'll be a bridge we can cross. Uh, <laughs> Jill got knocked the fuck out! Now Lisa is slow but very dangerous. Uh, stay clear from her basically. She cannot be killed um, in the game. Uh, uh, oh god. What? She got me there? Really? Wow. Okay. That was harsh. I initially avoided the swing that she did. And then I just happened to touch her hands and fucking... That took a load of damage, apparently. That was unlucky. But never mind. I'll carry on. We'll leave that zombie be. We'll let him have a stroll around the woods. So yeah, like, how does Lisa Trevor die? Well, there's a game called The Umbrella Chronicles where you, Wesker ends up killing Lisa, sort of. But I like to think the explosion of the mansion is probably what finished Lisa off. Because it seems like she can't be killed with regular firearms. Okay. It's Godhouse time. Oh, no herbs. That's disappointing. Oh well. Leave me alone, doggies. I've done nothing to you. Just leave me be. Leave me be. Alright, let's lower this baby. One thing that hasn't aged particularly well is some of the cutscenes. They do look a bit blurry. Um, okay. Oh yeah, this isn't just the remake. This is the remastered remake. It's Resident Evil... Remake remastered, <laughs> pretty much. Um, which I think released, uh, was it 2015 or something? I'm probably wrong on that, but yeah. We did remaster the remake, making it age uh, a little bell. Hello, crows. Goodbye, crows. Speaking of remakes, I've been hearing rumours for years now that a Metal Gear Solid remake is going to appear. There's actually a PlayStation showcase coming up in uh, supposedly late May of 2023. Uh, and it's been reported that Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake's going to appear. And maybe uh, the Metal Gear Solid games are going to be re-released. And uh, there'll be like remasters as well. Which I really hope is true. Because the last good Metal Gear game I've played was Metal Gear Solid 4. 
And that was all the way back in 2008 when I played it. It was like 15 years ago, man. <laughs> it's like, come on. I'm just glad that, you know, Metal Gear Solid 4 like closed the Metal Gear Solid franchise because if it didn't it would have been agony um, okay so yeah um, I was hoping it'd be Metal Gear Solid 1 remake because I feel like that would need to remake more but that's by far the best PlayStation 1 game you can play. And then there's also... Um, it's also my second favourite game of all time, Metal Gear Solid. It really is. Just absolute... I just love the story, the characters, the gameplay. It's just absolutely fascinating. Final Fantasy X being my favourite game of all time, which I've recently done a, a playthrough of that. That actually, it, it was difficult uploading all them because I'd like this. Um... Oh god, fucking spider! Uh, I forgot what. I was talking about. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy X. Um, yeah, recently did a series of it and loved it. The only difficult part was because it's an RPG, you have to record a lot of videos <laughs> and upload it as well. So I'm, I'm glad I, I finished it now. It was worth it. it. Just didn't feel right that Final Fantasy X is my favorite game and I didn't do any content of it. So, I'm glad it's up there. Get out of my way. Uh, so, I've just picked up a load of shit there. What have we got? What's in here? Okay, so we've got a green and blue herb. Okay. That'll do nicely. Okay. I feel like I'm carrying way too much stuff, so I'm gonna drop some stuff off. Uh, right, let's drop off some items. Right, we don't need the crank for now. Then we can drop these off also. And there'll be some healing items on the way anyway, so... We'll use them then. Well, well, we'll pick those up, and then we'll use them if we need to. Okay. Where can we go? No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? Oh, there's Barry talking to in there. It's obviously Wesker. Who else would he be talking to? A mirror. <laughs> Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I 
think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Hmm. Yeah, so Wesker actually threatens uh, Barry into doing things for him. Claiming that he's uh, got Barry's family hostage, which I don't believe he does. Uh, it's just a lie. Here we go. Okay. Key zero zero one. Take this, you piece of shit. Ah. It's nice when the heads pop off because they don't come back to life if their heads are destroyed. So we need to head back. Pick up some more bits and bobs. I'm really looking forward to, because there's a Silent Hill 2 re remake coming out. Um, for me, Silent Hill 2 is probably the best horror game that I've ever played. And that's saying something because I've played a lot of Resident Evil games and some great Resident Evil horror titles, but it's just. It just. Everything feels so right when you play Silent Hill 2. It's just brilliant. So. It's going to be hard for them to do a remake and. You know, make it just as good as the original, if not better. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough. Um. I have a feeling Silent Hill 2 Remake won't be as good as the original. I just can't see it happening from what I've seen from the trailers. Um, but we, you never know. I might be surprised. And then they're making also a bunch of other Silent Hill tiles. There's like a Silent Hill F game, some Silent Hill online game. Um, I think they're making it's either four or five Silent Hill games are in the works at the minute which is absolutely crazy <laughs> uh, but yeah so I hope the rumours about Metal Gear Solid are true and they're making a few releases of them and if they are re-released onto, uh, let's say, PlayStation 5, then I'd like to do a series of Metal Gear Solid on the channel. Would be nice. I have done a Metal Gear Solid um, 1 playthrough. That's like a long time ago. That's on my old channel, Snake445704, on YouTube. Um, that was back in the day I was like on the PS3 and I was recording it with a uh, what's called a Roxio capture card <laughs> so which it wasn't the best um, bit of technology to record stuff but it was enough for me to make videos and once the PS4 came about and you can easily do a stream and can easily record content now I just I decided at that point I'd make a a new channel um, although I did 
use the rea uh, I did use the rocks here actually to um, record some more stuff on my new channel, and I actually did some like webcam playthroughs. So I played like Call of Duty, sticks and stones with a webcam, some F1 races with a webcam, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. That's a fun game to play online with a webcam. And I did a Dino Crisis playthrough with a webcam also. I really enjoyed doing them, uh, but it is hard work. Well, I wouldn't say it's hard work, but it takes a lot of time. It's not hard, it just takes ages. Um, but I like doing what I'm doing now, just like chilling out. Making some gameplay. Uh, making some gameplay, what does that even mean? Uh, chilling out, playing video games. Um, do the odd recording here and there. And giving games praise or criticizing games. <laughs> as well as sometimes talking about events around the time, like a supposed PlayStation Showcase coming up. Okay. One game that I recommend is uh, Remnant from the Ashes. Uh, online. That's a really fun game to play and actually I wasn't really interested in it until it became a free PlayStation Plus game. And once it was uh, once that came out I gave it a go and it's just absolutely fun to play. It really is. A precious shelter. And Remnant 2 is coming out in the summer uh, apparently so I can't wait to give that a go so as a recommendation, if you like online games, it's a co-op game as well. Online co-op. Play that, it's a lot of fun. It has like a Dark Souls feel to it, so it's not easy. Uh, okay, we need to release the lock. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Right, lower the thing. You gotta be quick here, otherwise you're fucked. <laughs> Especially on the hard mode. You don't get much time. Right, I'm still oil pressure. Uh, let's try... Number one. There we go. Got the first time. Uh, so I gotta release the lock again. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That should be fine now. This used to make me panic so hard. <laughs> I was like, shit. Fucking get the walls down. Because if you don't do it in time, you're, you're instantly killed. Oh yeah, I need to lower the water, don't I? Whoopsies. Okay. Drain the water. Alright, there we have it. The water has been drained. Another great chill out game to play, Road 96. I've just recently finished playing that. Uh, highly recommend playing that. If you liked, if you like interactive story games, Red Knight Six is for you. Play it. What's that? What's that? Ah, uh, Magnum rounds. Sadly, I cannot take them. Oh, 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 oh. I can't have them. I'm afraid. Hello, Sharky. Can you get out my way? Thank you. It's a baby shark. This one's a fucking mega shark called Neptune. Okay, I can't put 
push that yet. Alright, now we've got a massive fuck off shock to deal with, but. No need to worry, but we'll fry this son of a bitch. This shark sequence they've handled really well. Because the sharks in the original were barely a threat at all. Like, they were kind of a joke, really. When you were like running across the water and they were like little sharks. They just never seemed to hit you. It was just crazy. They just. It's like. It looked scary at first, but it was just like. Yeah, it was just fucking. They don't do anything, really. Rarely do. But this was just. Oof. Sharks are a huge threat in this one. You can't fuck around. So, yeah. Move it on. I'm climbing up the ladder to heaven. It's the idea of the remake of Farm. I'm going to plan on playing as... Well, obviously I'm playing as Jill now. Then I'm going to play as Leon in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Then I'll play as Jill in Resident Evil 3 Remake. And then obviously you have to play as Leon. Uh, for the most part. In Resident Evil 4 Remake. So I thought I'd do Jill, Leon. Jill, Leon. Why not? Okay, it's oddly quiet. Don't like it when it's quiet sometimes. You just feel like something big is going to happen. Okay. Are they further use this key? Discard? Yes. Alright, better go and pick up some healing items so I don't have any on me if we go against the plan we're gonna definitely need some I'm not gonna bother V jolting here if I've got an infinite pistol then hopefully I can kill it that way Many red herbs, I've noticed. Right, hopefully that will do. I'm still carrying the armor key. Let's just get rid of that for a minute. Okay. I just realized I've been carrying it this entire time. <laughs> but, great thing with the infinite pistol is you don't have to use another inventory slot to carry clips. It's always a good thing. Alright, it's plant 42 time soon. Just need to get some keys. I say some keys, it's just the one key. Blech. Not the bees, not the bees! Although, just like the original, these bees are fucking... barely a threat at all. Very easy to run away from. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take the map. It's a hole in the wall here. Let's pass aside this bitch. Pass aside, pass aside. 
Everybody wants to be pesticide. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a fucking clue. Okay. We have the residence key. Um, more specifically, it's the double three room key. Let me in. Okay. Right, so we got to line these books up now. Let's use red book. And then we just gotta reorder the books. Which shouldn't be too difficult. As you can see, you can sort of make out what it's supposed to look like. That's a naked woman. Okay. Plant 42 time. Oh, uh, look at it. These tentacles and shit. Leave me alone. I don't want to get poisoned by you. Shit. Ugh. Caution, you son of a bitch. Oh, You fucker. Okay, caution again. Right, upstairs. As quick as you can. Okay. I want you to open your shell, please. That will do. Okay. Same again, please. Ah, shit. Okay, now's the time to heal. Ta-da! And the plant has wilted. Sorry. Okay. The last big key of the mansion. We have the helmet key. Okay, so now it's time to head back to the mansion. Hey, we got a red herb. Seems to be a rarity for some reason. Alright, so let's head our way back. So, when we head back... Uh, oh God, hang on. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Yes. Okay. Uh, what was I going to say? 
Oh yeah, so the zombies uh, that were in the mansion, most of them will be gone now. Um, but they will be replaced by hunters. So it's not much better. <laughs> uh, these are the pistol on the hunter. Yeah, it's not not the best strategy. Even with this pistol, it's like well, you might be able to get one hunter down, but it's dangerous. Playing a dangerous game, taking on hunters with merely a pistol. So doggies, you stay asleep. Stay asleep, doggies. Just leave me alone. Okay. Snakes. Ah. Bloody snakes. Just the worst when they pause you, the absolute worst. Like, oh shit, where's a blue herb when you need one? Hmm. Alright. Don't run after me. Sleep me up! Bloody camera angles. <laughs> Got fucked over by the camera angles there. Okay, still. Good to know. Okay, well. Uh, thanks, Barry. I'll take the dagger. I sadly can't take the shells. <laughs> Be nice to take it. Okay. Huh? What's the star's radio doing here? That's a good question. Let's hope the thing still works. Um, does it, doesn't it? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, fuck. And now the hunters make an appearance. Oh, that's locked. Okay. Ooh! Leave me alone. Douchebag. Just nothing but douchebaggery. Ooh! <laughs> that one had me in the corner there. Fuck it Nice try. Okay, so we can put these away now, I think. But we'll take a fall here with us just in case. Right, mix them together. Okay. So we've made quite a lot of progress. I think now would be a good time to save once again. So let's do that. Uh, save number two, once again, at the East Wing storeroom. Alright. Save successful. 